Na 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 not only the goods and services we're good at selling, but finding new goods and services and promoting them properly in the, in the world. And some of our brightest people live overseas, like me. <laughs> what are these new goods and services? What kind of areas, what kind of well, products? We're just uh, Tennis Park, and uh, you know, there's a room full of people with some good ideas. There's nothing short of good ideas in Ice House either. You know, we just have to run with it. We've got to give them some support, financial and, uh, uh, you know, intelligence and software, whatever they need, and we have to foster them and introduce them, and we should use all our expatriates to do this. I mean, there's guys like John Buchanan, John Hood, I mean, there's a marvelous Kiwis overseas that can, uh, you know, we can marshal them to use, use their contacts and services. I'm an entrepreneur, I'm 31, I turn over about $2.8 million across my, my three businesses, which is small, and I know that, but I've been working for nine years. What's the kind of advice you give for people like me? Well, uh, I don't know what you do, so that's a key thing. But if you, you know, you've got to take a view of it. If you can really increase its size tenfold, living in New Zealand, then no need to move. But if you can't, and your idea will germinate better in a, an overseas environment somewhere because it's bigger and there's more money and there's, you know, more return, then uh, go overseas and do it. But don't lose your your uh, touch with home. Uh, New Zealand needs all the help it can get. But What's no, I, was, I just was telling something, you get off the plane and the lawns are mowed and there's curbs on the roads, there's no potholes, there's no piles of thrash, the f traffic lights work, cars are clean, this is utopia. But, you know, we still got to pay our way and, and to maintain this utopia and, and the good lifestyle we have, uh, we just have to think of it differently. Successive governments have allowed the debt to grow to maintain the lifestyle which, uh, if you look at it as a pure balance sheet, can't sustain itself. Is there a future without this big level of debt? Can we get out of it? Oh yeah, but you know, some hard lessons and, and all this moaning and groaning about you know, people on welfare etc. It's the politicians that got them on the drug to buy votes over successive governments etc. You can't just go on there and say suddenly cold turkey, we're going to take it all off you. You've got to provide alternatives and, you know, you have to go back to basics and, yeah, I mean, you know, the average New Zealand is as good as anybody in the world, if not better. Yeah, yeah just believe in ourselves. Awesome. So you're inspired by the average Kiwi. Everyone's got an opportunity to make That's some why money. I'm here. That's why I'm here. Thanks a lot, Owen. Appreciate it. Cheers. Cheers. All the best.